Hey everybody, today I'm gonna to talk about women's hiking pants. So, I think anyone who wears women's hiking pants will know that it's a bit of a clusterfuck and that we don't have always the best options. Um, fit between brands can be completely different fit between just models from the same brand can be completely different. Um, most pants have like a shit pocket game, but some are getting there and have great pockets. Um, features come and go and redesigns mess with what we want. And it doesn't just uh, hit women's hiking pants, but it's kind of all women's pants. Um, so if you wear women's hiking pants, this is for you. Um, to kind of set the stage for what my body is, what I do, um, how I'm going to be talking about these. Um, I am a mountain athlete. Um, most of what I do would be considered rucking um, in lieu of backpacking because of the weight that I'm carrying. Um, which means that I'm putting a lot of uh, pressure and rubbing on my hips. Um, and so how pants lay is really important to me. The durability of pants is extremely important to me. I'm really hard on pants um, when I'm in the alpine, kind of scraping them on talus, um, bushwhacking a lot. Um, I am, I think, as far as body type goes, I would be considered extremely muscular. Um, usually, this speaks to women's pants. I wear a small or a medium. Um, I'm usually a four to an eight. Um, I have really significant hips and a really pretty small waist, all things considered. Um, my thighs are really large as are my calves um, and basically from here up is really small and so I always have felt like I have a very hard time finding pants uh, to fit my mountain strong legs even though hiking pants claim to be for athletic women. Um, it's been interesting <laughs> trying to find favorite pants but I do have favorite pants and I'm happy to share them with you all. And I hope that if you're struggling to find pants that fit, this can help you. And um, yeah, so let's just get going. So I'm gonna start with what I think is considered the intro hiking pant that is a good hiking pant that um, is reasonable within most people's budgets when they're looking at hiking clothing that is accessible to find um, that comes in a huge array of sizes and lengths, and that is gonna be the Prana Halley hiking pant. So this is the Prana Halley hiking pant. Um, these are a size four, and they are probably five years old at this point. Um, I used to always wear Prana Halley hiking pants I think that they're very nice um, as long as you're hiking trails and more or less like a casual hiker, weekend warrior, um, not doing anything too crazy, um, then these might be a pant that works really nice for you. Um, features of them, they have two button pockets in the back, well snap pockets. They've got two like regular standard jean pocket styles. And then they have this little leg zipper pocket. Um, I'll just be totally honest and say that I think every single pocket on this pair of pants is useless, um, especially with how big phones are nowadays. Um, these pockets are stupid and I won't give them good marks for having five pockets because all of them are kind of worthless. Um, these pants can roll into a capri style and they do that with a little tab here 
that you just snap up on either side. Um, and that is really nice. That's really nice for creek crossings. That's really nice for chilling. Um, these pants also have drawstrings on the inside in lieu of a belt. And so that's kind of nice too. Not all women's pants come with um, a built-in mechanism to make them have a more custom fit, and the Hallie pants do. Um, one thing you can see here on mine is that those are not the buttons they come with. Um, and I would recommend if you pick up a pair of these pants that the very first thing you do is reinforce those buttons by putting maybe five stitches extra in per button because the buttons are gonna fall off right away. I don't know why Prana does that, but across the board, their buttons are barely sewed on. Um, so I will say that while I don't use these pants for hiking or adventures anymore, they're a pant that I go to often for just casual wear. I think that they, out of everything I'm gonna be talking about, are the pant that can most easily be worn for anything. And they look good when you're around town, when you're doing whatever it is you do. These will look like you're wearing pants instead of hike specific pants. And that's kind of nice. Um, so recently, um, my last Prana order I placed was maybe a year and a half ago. And while I didn't buy the heli pants, um, I have worn many of Prana's pants in the past. And so I'm telling you that this is a size four, but I believe with the direction Prana has gone, I would likely be wearing something more or less a size eight to 10. They have really changed their sizing um, and not, not necessarily for the better, because it's really changed quite a lot. Their cuts have become a lot smaller. Um, the Halley pants probably sit, these are high waist pants. They probably sit about right here on the actual hip. Um, and so also if you're gonna be backpacking or having a very heavy backpack, they don't sit in the right place and you're gonna get some chafing. Um, so next up, I have the Mountain Hardware Dynama High Rise Ankle Pant. Um, these are really highly recommended. It kind of, on all gear reviews for women's pants, um, and kind of like for casual travel pants as well. I will admit that I don't wear uh, Mountain Hardware things, and these are the only item that I own by them. I have two pairs though, which says something. Um, so these are gonna be kind of the most casual pant as far as material goes. They're very, very, very stretchy. Um, and they do sit high in the waist. Now, my one critique with that is that they have absolutely no way to adjust the fit. And so if you are somebody with big thighs and a big hip structure, um, the fit's a little bit hard. These are a size large. Are they a size large? They think that they're a size large. Nope, they're a size medium. So these are a medium. <laughs> um, and they fit pretty good. I couldn't wear a smaller size on my legs. Um, but then there, there's some gapping absolutely in the waist. Now, what I like about them, as far as the waist is concerned, is that they sit up really nice and high. And so when you have a backpack on, the backpack will keep the pants on. And um, because they sit so nice and high, they have flat seaming, um, nothing is gonna chafe because everything is just nice and smooth. And like I said, they don't have any way to adjust the waist but if you're backpacking, the backpack will help to keep the pants where they need to be. The, they have two pockets, both like in the exact same spot, just on the opposite sides. Um, and these sit just right in the perfect spot where your hip strap from your backpack is not gonna get in the way, nor is a climbing harness. Um, so that's really nice. 
I have worn these pants about 10 times. And just looking at them now, I can already see some loose threads. Um, there are a hand right here. There are a handful of places where just after 10 wears, it's already um, having some pulling issues with the material, which to me immediately screams that these are a short term pant that you'll maybe get one year out of these one um one epic season out of these um worth noting not a big deal but if you plan to rock these from like hiking and backpacking to town which they're cute enough to do um i sat in some sap i don't know if you can really see but right there there's some sap i've washed these twice and there's some there too. I, um, I absolutely cannot get the sap out of these and I feel like the material isn't strong enough to really do what you need to do to get the sap out. You, you would wreck the material. And so that's problematic. Um, these also claim to not pill and um, there's a lot of pilling. And so um, and, it, and that pilling is from a backpack for sure. It's like right about there. And so just FYI, when they say that these pants don't really pill, um, they absolutely do pill. So I do really like these pants. I think that the pockets are very nice. Um, it's filming me right now, so I can't show you, but I have, um, an iPhone 12 pro max, I believe it's the 12 and it's huge. Um, and those can fit in these pockets and these pockets both zip. And so the pockets on these are really nice. Um, but it's huge marks down for not being able to have any customization on that waist, not being able to make it have a better fit. Um, and, and yeah, I think that's really the gist of it. These are, um, an ankle pant, which is worth noting. Um, they do come up to just above your outside ankle bone, at least for me, I'm about five, six and a half, um, with about equal torso and leg measurements. And they come about just a bit over my ankle. Um, I really like that for the Alpine and I think climbers would really appreciate that so that you're able to always see your feet. You don't have pants obscuring any of the looking down view. Um, I also really like it because it's comfortable to pull your socks up over your pants if you're in an area with a lot of wood ticks. Um, so while I wouldn't necessarily call these a favorite or good for everything, I think that they're extremely, extremely solid for day hiking and for lightweight backpacking trips. Um, they dry really fast and they're, su they're super comfortable and there's a lot to be said for being comfortable. I just don't think that they're very durable. I think that um, they would very easily not fit your body if you have a more or less like finely tuned, like specifically shaped body that's hard to fit. Um, and mostly when I say that, I mean a very small waist. Um, they're not being able to adjust the waist is really the deal breaker on these. Um, these have a good retail price, like the Halley pants. I think both pants are like 60 to $70 or something around there. Um, so they're not gonna like absolutely break the budget. And if you can quad pay it, it's pretty cheap. Um, so yeah, I think I much, much, much prefer these to the Halley pants. Um, and I wear these a lot. Um, I also wear these a lot if I have to run to town and I'm feeling super lazy and there's no way I'm gonna deal with a button or something exceptionally tight. Um, so yeah, these are the Mountain Hardware Dynama ankle pant and I like them. Next up, we have got the Fjall Raven Abisco Trekking Tight Pro, which is a new redesign on their trekking tight. Um, So if you know me, you know that I love Fjall Raven pants, that they're very thoughtful. Um, they're very 
very premium but not just premium because their photos look good on Instagram premium they're premium because of their thoughtful design and their use of materials and their innovations um, I will say before I hop into this specific pair I do not like this redesign I think that the previous model was so much nicer um, and I'm very likely gonna be listing these on Poshmark or eBay because they're just not the same and it's a deal breaker for me and so as I'm talking about these some of what I'm saying is referring to the older model because I lived in the older model and these ones uh, they're just not quite the same but let me hop into this because I think that this will be helpful to everyone so these are a medium um, and Across the board, when Fjall Raven has sizing, small, medium, large, I am always a medium. Um, so right away you're going to notice that they're very, very high-waisted. These fit like um, Lululemon high waists. They sit in the waist, the true natural waist. They have a drawstring. Their drawstring is really nice. Um, with my old pair, I got three seasons, three years out of those pants, wearing them almost every day. Um, the thing that ended up breaking on the pants was this little pull, um, which I'll probably still wear them and just have that repaired. Um, so these pants have a nice deep pocket on the side and then a nice um, pocket with a bigger flap here. Now I will say, and this is true to the other pants, the other design as well. They have like a little tiny mesh, like small pocket. You know how jean pockets have like a pocket, but then a little pocket. So, so do these. And um, I hate it. I think it's annoying because you go to put your cell phone inside, which my big cell phone does fit in both of these pockets. Um, but you go to do that and it gets caught on that little inside pocket. And so usually I cut those out, um, which you can do and it's not going to harm the pant. Um, so where these pants really excel as a tight, as a legging, is that they have reinforced knees and they have a reinforced bootay. And this fabric, I, I don't do any research before these reviews. I just review them as I see them. Um, I don't know what exactly it is, but it's very durable. Um, I will say that this redesign does not seem nearly as durable as the old model. Um, and these are more or less a summer weight. Um, and I do have the pair of these that's in the winter weight and I just think I'm pretty sure that they have the same name but just without pro at the end and those are going to be about triple the fabric weight and a whole lot more durable with the reinforced knees and butt um, it's a, on those it's a very aggressive fabric that almost is like heavily textured and I've worn those for about four and a half years and they're still rocking um, so I do recommend those and I do recommend these, but I don't like this new design. Um, I would expect most people to be really, really, really impressed by these. The fit is beautiful. Um, as far as being flattering is concerned, think Lululemon level flattering. Um, and like Lululemon, you're going to be paying about $150 for these. Um, is it worth it? I think so. Um, where these two pants, the Halley and the Dynama, where they are less durable, you're going to be getting rid of these because they're going to be wrecked potentially in a year or two, where with these guys, like I said, three to four years, more if you take care of them, more if you aren't grinding them around on talus and rock and bushwhacking. Um, the material does not catch and pull. Um, I have eaten a ton of shit with a 70 pound backpack wearing these and I have had cuts on my skin, but the pants are flawless with no damage. 
Um, so the materials that they're using are extremely strong and they really hold up to a ton of abuse. And I think that that makes the price make sense um, compared to something that you're gonna be using a lot that has a very short life. These you can use a lot and you will have them for many years. They hit at the ankle. They're very, very similar in fit to a Lululemon high rise, nice legging. Um, they do get super duper hot <laughs> if it's hot where you're hiking. Um, I wear them a lot um, in the summer, but only if I'm having like an early alpine morning because once the sun really gets going, it is too much to handle. Um, and that can be said for most leggings, I would assume. But um, I think the breathability on those is just like a little bit crazy. Um, they really hold everything in. But come autumn, perfect. Uh, the next pant I think is considered or starting to be considered kind of the gold standard of what an adventure pant ought to be. And that is the Fjell Raven Keb pant. Um, in the numbered pants that are not small, medium, large, but like the European sizing, um, across the board, I wear a 40 in Fjell Raven, um, which it looks like is a US 30 inch to 31 inch. I don't know what any of it means. Um, but like with all pants, the real issue with sizing for me is gonna be that thigh and hip to waist ratio, where I certainly, I have to wear a belt with these. Um, if you are more streamlined, um, I think you would just wanna get whatever you normally get. But for me, um, to get my thighs to fit, and for them to go comfortably over my hips, I have to size up. Um, so I have had these for four years and there is zero damage to them. Um, these have a single button closure. And like you can see, they sit high up in the waist, just like high waisted leggings we all love. And they do have really nice belt loops. So if you can get a low profile belt, um, that's really nice because there's otherwise no way to adjust that waist. They have a little gear clip right here. I've never used it, um, but it's nice. Um, their pockets are extremely deep, the two front pockets. And then they have two big thigh pockets. This big thigh pocket zips. I have plenty of room to move my hand all over. And then it zips closed on top of snapping. This one is a bigger pocket. It bellows out much bigger and it's got a tiny little stretchy pocket in it. And because the pocket is so big, I don't feel a need to cut that little one out. Um, I have put so many things in these pockets and while there's no stretch, to the dark material. You can see how there's a lighter material and a darker. This darker material is like a canvas and it has no stretch. This other material, the lighter material, is unbelievably stretchy and it really makes these pants exceptional. Um, you can see how stretchy that is. Um, and likewise, where there's this canvas material, it's extremely burly and it is amazing for bushwhacking and it is amazing for basically any adventure you can get up to. Um, an awesome feature on these pants is that the thighs unzip. And so you can, um, you can vent yourself, which I don't think there's many pants that do that. And I mean, I've tried a lot of pants and Fjall Raven is like one of the only brands that does something like that. And I have done that absolutely. Um, I will say the one downside to that, and they do it, they do it in two spots. So 
it doesn't have to be your thigh. If you don't want to show some thigh, you can show some calf. Um, and it's super nice. I use those a lot. Um, but I will say this, if you are feeling puffy, if you have bigger thighs like I do, sometimes these little zips can slowly move or creep up and down and they can kind of pinch your skin. And so, um, just be advised that that can happen. And it doesn't happen often, but if you feel like, oh my God, like what is happening? It's probably the little zipper moving. And it only really happens if you're like bloated or what have you, um, but that can be kind of, kind of annoying. Um, the knees have double layers of the canvas. And so that means you can put knee pads inside of these pants. And it also means that you have like more bendability for the knee. Um, it's really nice. And then on each ankle, they're made fitted for gaiters and they have little snaps. And so you can cinch them up really tight or have them be more or less loose. So they can basically fit over any footwear that you have. Um, these, like I said, I've had for many years. Um, in summer, I leave them as is, but in fall, winter, and spring, I wax them. And that is a really cool thing that Fjall Raven offers that helps keep their products eco-friendly and not waterproof, but basically waterproofed. So you basically take this little wax bar, it's called Greenland wax, and you heat it, oh, you, well, you can heat it with an iron over your pants and rub it in and then pop it in the dryer really quick to spread it out. Or you rub it on these pants and then use a hair dryer to melt it in. Um, and that actually does a really good job of waterproofing these pants and um, kind of prolonging the life of them um, because that's just adding this really fine layer of a very durable thing. Um, and you wanna be, if you're gonna wax the pants, you wanna re-wax every wash or two. Um, I, kind of depending on how waterproof you need them to be. And that's true of anything canvas by Fjall Raven. You can wax it and it, it's really cool. It's a really, really neat thing. Um, it's their G1000 fabric and um, I've, I've been super happy with being able to do that or not do that, kind of depending on what adventure I'm gonna get up to. Um, so I've had these for many years and they have less pilling than either of these two pants. They have a little bit there on the thigh. Um, and again, that's gonna be where the hip belt of my backpack goes. So it's kind of to be expected, um, but it's barely any pilling at all. Now I think out of all these pants I've talked about so far, these are the least adaptable from hiking, backpacking, adventure, to casual city life, town life, what have you, casual wear. Um, they just like look like a burly, intense woodswoman pant. Um, does not ever stop me from wearing them to town, but if you want a pant that can kind of transition from this thing to this thing to this thing, this is likely not the option you wanna, you'll wanna go with. Um, these, I believe, have a price tag of maybe 175, um, but for durability and life of the pant, longevity, quality, fit, all the things, they blow all of these out of the water. Um, not even close. These are a clear, clear victor in the women's pants game. Um, these are no different than their, the design of their men's pants. If that says anything to all of you, um, they have the same pockets, they have the same zips, all the same features. Um, you are not missing out on anything by getting these pants. They will absolutely change your life if you love big adventures. So that leaves me with one little pant here on the table, one little pant with tags still. So these are the Ordovox Vajolet. I don't know how you say that word, 
my Minnesota accent makes it really hard. Um, Ordovox. So I have never owned anything by this company except for these. And I obviously have not worn them yet. Um, I got these in the mail about two days ago and I'm beyond excited. Um, I, I can't even tell you how excited I am. I put them on and they fit like a glove. Um, I was all over the place on their size chart for these pants and I did not know what to do. And so I reached out to customer service and they helped me within 24 hours. And where I take a medium in most of these, I wear a large in this. And I wear a large in this because the fabric has nice stretch. Um, and so if you're between sizes, I would pick to probably size up if you have big thighs. Um, so these pants kick ass just from looking at them. I'm not saying that as a whole statement because um, I have not tested them yet. This band is made of wool. And so that is gonna create some nice sweat wicking. That is gonna create comfort and no chafing. Very, very stretchy, which I know, it, I don't wanna pull on them too hard, but very stretchy. They also have a built-in belt. And you will likely know if you're watching this that most women's pants do not. Um, these sit more or less on the hip. They're, um, I have like a short crotch. And so I'm able to get them about to my belly button, which is good for me. I like a higher waist pant. And so I was happy I was able to hike them up and belt them so that they can fit right about at my belly button maybe about an inch and a half below my natural waist. Um, they have this darker green fabric, which is smooth and stretchy. And then they have this lighter green fabric, which is more highly textured. It's also stretchy, but this is a reinforced fabric. And so you can kneel and basically kneel. They don't have reinforced butt like Fjall Raven pants, but the knees are really key. And I think um, for filtering water, for getting into your backpack, um, if you're a photographer like me and you are often kneeling to get the shot, those reinforced knees are excellent. Um, it's also reinforced a bit on the back where your backpack would be sitting. And so where in a couple of these pants, I talked about all the pilling and damage to that part of the lower back. Um, it has the reinforced material there. Um, it has two pockets in the front hips and they are humongous. And where so many pants have a deeper pocket if they have useful pockets, these have more horizontal pockets that sit across the full thigh. And I'm excited to try that because I've never seen that before. Um, so that should be really nice. And they are deep. They go about wrist deep on me. And then they have this nice thigh zip. Um, my phone does fit into this. And I think if you find some hiking treasures, they would all fit too with your phone. It's a nice roomy pocket. Um, and then these are kind of, they taper down, but then they also have a nice cinch. Um, which I'm learning to appreciate more and more since wearing Fjall Raven all the time. Um, it's really nice kind of for many occasions, whether you're going somewhere really wet and don't want to get water in your boots, if there's a lot of wood ticks around, if you just don't want to wear a gaiter, but would prefer to cinch that down. Um, looks good to me. And the fit on these is just extremely flattering. Um, they're, they're a fitted pant, but they're loose in enough spots to really get real prime airflow going, which should really help with moisture management. And uh, yeah, I'm super excited to try those out, which I plan to do in a few days. And I will very likely be coming back here to talk about my experience wearing them. Um, so again, these I ended up getting in a large where I normally wear a medium 
And I think that that's um, mostly due to European sizing. They tend to have a little bit smaller cuts. Um, something that I really like about Ordovox and Fiel Raven, but I feel like Ordovox really kicks it up a notch, is their commitment to eco-friendly products, to um, when they use animal fibers, to ensuring that they know where those are sourced and what the farms sourcing are all about. Um, they treat their workers right and are part of an alliance that is for that. Um, and so when you're looking at all these pants and all outdoor gear, I and all everything you buy, I think it's important to consider how these products come about and what company values are. And I know I touched on this about Patagonia in my last video, but I do think that's really key. And so if you're looking for just an extremely responsible company, I think you'd be hard pressed to find somebody more responsible, not somebody, a company more responsible than Ortovox. Um, so this is my favorite pants and I'm hoping these become the favorite. Um, I don't remember what the price was on these. I think that the price was very competitive with Fjall Raven. I think we're talking about 150 here, um, which I quad paid. And I think, again, if you can quad pay stuff to make things affordable, um, with some of these pieces because of the longevity and quality of them, I think that that's worth doing. Um, even if it means where you could have three pants, you have one pair of pants. Um, it means also with these more high quality fabrics and styles, they're more repairable. Um, if you would need to sew a patch on or send them back to the company to be repaired, it's more easy to repair high quality things. So pants, women's pants. If you wear women's pants, um, I highly recommend the Keb trouser. Um, by Fjall Raven. I wear it in a curved, which I don't think I mentioned. They have regular fits and then they have a curved fit. And that just means that the waist is gonna be nipped in. And that's worth celebrating for some of us. So I hope that this could help you. And if you have any questions about any of these, I'm very happy to answer. Um, I've never said it yet, but if you like what's going on here with my gear talks, go ahead and subscribe. Have a really good day, everybody.